So hi, um, I'm Arun. I'm working in a company called uh, Service Now. So yeah, I work in a company called Service Now. So I'm here to talk a little bit about Java. So hopefully, I'm not banned from this conference next time. So. <laughs> So the uh, topic is like exposing um, Java as uh, JavaScript. So uh, here is the problem, right? You have some uh, legacy Java system in which you have a lot of APIs exposed. And uh, you want uh, your developers to use JavaScript and uh, uh, develop applications uh, on top of that. So, uh, so what we can do for that? So um, as you might be aware, right, J JVM comes with its own JavaScript compilers. So uh, by default, till Java 7, it was called uh, uh, Rhino compiler. And from Java 8, you have the Nash Nashon engine, which is uh, coming. So what this allows is like, you know, it can take in some JavaScript, and uh, that JavaScript can internally call your Java classes. So that way, you can expose your uh, JavaScript, uh, Java classes as JavaScript API. So I will just show you a quick demo of that. So here I have a sample uh, Java class is just a hello world kind of a class. And uh, I, I actually can go and uh, start a, a, a Rhino shell. And uh, I can say, you know, I can call uh, instantiate that Java class here. And I can, I can actually uh, do some coding like So uh, here I'm actually uh, you know, declaring an array and passing it on to the Java class hello Rhino you know, and printing it. So this is all JavaScript code. So, uh, so uh, at uh, ServiceNow, we have actually leveraged this uh, idea and uh, built a full-blown frame framework which any developer can come and uh, develop their own apps. So for example, like you know, this is a, a active record kind of a model which is exposed in JavaScript. So here, I'm actually, I'm querying a table like incident. And I'm doing a pluck that is like uh, people from Rails or people who have used Lodash will know that. So I'm actually plucking that number column from the table, and I can print that. So uh, here is another example, right? So here, I'm actually, I'm exposing a RESTful endpoint uh, to my Java server. So here, I actually, I'm querying an incident table. And I'm actually doing a map operation where I am looping through all the records and getting the number and chart description, and I am passing it as a JSON. So for example, like this example, if I run it, so this will produce a JSON output. So you can see that, you know, what is the description, what is the number. So this is actually querying a database from the table and getting it. So how this is working is this uh, JavaScript is internally calling this class glide record, which is actually a Java class, which is our ORM that does the, uh, all the logic and bring back you the data. So this is a quite powerful idea. Like people who are stuck in the legacy Java, Java world, you, know, you can leverage this technology and expose uh, the awesome Java, JavaScript to your programmers. So that's it.